everyone. It's time for Abby Wabbit. Okay, Abby, what are we doing today? We're making another science video. Another science video. This one is going to be called, Does 1 plus 1 always equal 2? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use a science experiment found in our pop bottle science kit. We're going to use our pop bottle. We're going to use water, rubbing alcohol, a ruler, and masking tape. And we're going to see if 1 and 1 equal 2. If 1 and 1 always equal 2. We're going to measure out two cups of water and pour them into the bottle. Uh, mark the water level on one piece of tape and write the number one. Then we're going to dump out the water, pour one cup of water and one cup of rubbing alcohol into the bottle, and then we'll mark that as number two, and we'll see if level one and level two are equal. They should be equal because they have the same amount of liquid. So let's get started. Okay, so now that we have our two cups of water in our bottle, we are gonna measure it with our ruler. So we measured the water that's in the bottle and we put a one on it. Now we're gonna dump out the water, the two cups of water, and we're gonna put one cup of water on one cup of rubbing alcohol. And then we're gonna see if it measures up to the same level as two cups of water. So the experiment says, water has lots of empty spaces between its molecules. Alcohol molecules are strung closer to each other. When the two combine, the alcohol molecules fall into the spaces in between the water molecules. The alcohol molecules slip like loose sand into the cracks between the rocks. So let's measure the water and the alcohol. So it measures the same. Yeah, that's where the first experiment was. And it's the same as the second experiment. So in this science experiment, one and one equal two, both times. So two cups of water equaled two inches on our ruler, and one cup of water and one cup of alcohol also reaches two inches. So there really was no difference between the two cups of water and the one cup of water and the one cup of alcohol. We did use the 91% rubbing alcohol. I don't know if it needed to be 100% rubbing alcohol to make a difference, but this science experiment proved that one plus one equals two. Was this a fun, exciting experiment? Interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye.